Look at that. Gives me anxiety, this box. <laughs> I mean, Power Rangers are down there. You've got some Dragon Ball Z down there. Um, you've got a heap of Pokemon. Oh, look at this. That's cool. Never seen that before. Game in that one? Yep. Yep. I'm overwhelmed, guys. I'm seriously overwhelmed as to what to do here. Well, guys, deals like this don't come around too often. A subscriber of the channel by the name of Aiden sent me a message a few days ago and he said, Matt, I think you're gonna wanna buy my entire eBay store. I'm going out of business. He ran a consignment deal with a friend and he's now into full-time work and he doesn't wanna commit any time to eBay. So it's all being donated to the thrift store. Everything in this video, unless I go ahead and buy it. So I've got a huge task ahead to pick through some of this stuff or maybe even just go ahead and buy it all. I'm not too sure what I'm gonna do just yet, but let's roll the footage and I'll show you what we're up to. I'm blown away by this. This has all come out of the consignment deal, yeah? Yep. So we've got Dragon Ball Z. We've got all that there's, you were saying before that there was a bunch of WWE that was really expensive yeah. at the bottom. Yeah, WWE action figures, nothing less than 50 bucks. Wow. Yeah, this is, this is I'm, I was saying before, I'm overwhelmed. Digimon, you were saying they're nah, pretty crazy. Yeah. Did you, so season three, Thunderbirds as well. Do you know how he collected all this or his, his story of collecting? Yeah, so he had a, he had a relative. Yep. Um, that, yeah, we just buy these for him. And he just had a collection of just whatever he was into. So action figures was a big thing for him, obviously. Yeah, pretty much. He had just everything you could think of action figure wise. And some of them just obviously left them in the packaging. And you're 50-50 splitting whatever you get for it. Yeah. And you were saying before that you're, you've got to be out of here. This is your parents' place. Yes. And they're kicking you out yeah. and you need it gone. I move out on the 3rd of Feb. 3rd of Feb. 3rd of Feb. So, so, yeah, wow. So we're like two weeks away. Yeah. Less than two weeks away. Um, so we're going to work out a deal. We're going to get something done. We're going to sort something out. But um, I'm pretty blown away by all of this and I don't actually know where to begin. <laughs> has, your, um, has your mate said anything to you from a pricing perspective has he no he doesn't care he doesn't care no because you're like you you're going to have to pay this to the op shops right pretty much and he's fine with that <laughs> yeah he was like whatever doesn't sell just take to the op shop yeah. So this really was a dream scenario for me. Aiden needs to get rid of all this stuff and I get first look at everything. So now it was just a case of opening up some boxes and seeing exactly what he had. We haven't really talked too much about this, but there was a small allocation of video games in here. Yeah. Were there any that you, you know are, uh, you know, really, really good? Like is this, we've got Power Rangers yeah, Rescue there. I think that's like 45. Yeah, 45. We'll whack some comps up on the screen as we go. But there was, like I'm just gonna look through all of it. Like there's some PS1 games, Toy Story 2 there. I hadn't heard of this, Pokemon Dash. Is that just a case only or? Sure. Yeah, case, yeah only. case only. Case only. But that still goes okay. Um, some Game Boy Advance there. So it's a real, just a, a bit of an eclectic mix of video games, but I think some of them could be actually pretty good. Mario Kart DS, do you have the game in that one? So. Just cut, oh yeah, we gotta look at that. Yeah, case only. Um, now this one though, that was actually complete. I saw that before, Bratz. Anything Bratz goes really, really well. So that's, that's an awesome find. Um, and we've got some PS2, some pretty basic PS2, but you can always do them with console bundles. Shrek 2, yeah, a bit of a bulk deal. So I like the look of all those games. And then we've also got some uh, GameCube. I don't know how much these are worth, but Crash Bandicoot generally goes pretty well, mm. hey? Um, and then we've also got WrestleMania. We've got a... There it is there. So, that's cool. Um, These are cool. Yeah, that's always epic. Star Wars on the 64 boxed. Um, we've got Zero X. That's cool. Never seen that before. Game in that one? Yep. Yep. Cool. Um, Worms World Party. That could be good too. PlayStation 1 is always something I'm looking for. I love finding PlayStation 1. Now, this is also something else <laughs> that we've got to work through. This is a really cool vintage box of basically anime. You've got, I mean, Power Rangers are down there. You've got some Dragon Ball Z down there. Um, you've got a heap of Pokemon. I don't really know too much about the VHS market. And this is all DVDs, isn't it? Yep. So we've got like, and I, I did a video series where I said that Pokemon DVD sets are one of the rarest to find. They go for massive money if you've got all 20 seasons. Uh, I think it goes for upwards of like six, seven hundred dollars. Um, so we've got to, I don't, I don't really know which, like that's a Master Quest season five. So have to do, and that's, that's Advanced Battle season eight. So it looks like it's a bit of a mix. 
but they are they are brand new right yep they are absolutely brand new which is pretty wild and then there's all these it looks like a full set yep. of vhx yeah i'm pretty sure this is fully complete fully complete as well all of this coming from your mate yep. the guy that you're doing consignment with yeah and yeah and he was saying that they were they were all complete And then Power Rangers, Power Rangers down the bottom there too. What's all this? So you got some Digimon, Jungle Z, Digimon, the movie. Is this listed at all? No. None of it's listed? No. Yeah. Oh. All right, so I'm just sweating bullets in here. Um, it is so hot, um, literally absolutely cooking. But um, I'm overwhelmed, guys. I'm seriously overwhelmed as to what to do here. There's so much inventory. Um, I just don't, oh, we need the waters. My man, appreciate it. Thanks, mate. Um, yeah, I was just saying, I'm just overwhelmed. Like, I don't know exactly what to do. I think I'm gonna look at that Pokemon box as well. We'll pull that one outside. We've gone through the, oh, oh guys, actually, we, have, we, we haven't spoken about that, have we? No, no. There's a huge box of action figures that would be days worth of sorting through. Um, and I did a recent flea market purchase uh, of some um, wrestling action figures and I got a pretty good deal out of it. Um, got some good money out of it. So I'll show you, I'll show you all of these now. So check all this out. This is just insane. You can take this box away and work through it. Literally, like I said, you take days to go through all of this. They all look like 2003 Jack specific. Um, you know, from this video showing all this stuff, you're going to get bombarded <laughs> from people wanting to know your location, brother. That is why you got to take it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's why I got to get my hands on it, right? Yeah, jeez. That's a 2001, 2002 Jack specific. There's so many different series in there. So, yes. yeah, so with the, I know with these action figures, it's called the Elite Series. Um, the Elite Series action figures are the rarest and they go for the most amount of money. I'm not seeing any off the top here of, of the Elite Series because the thing I want to look for is there's always like a... I'll, I'll put one up on screen of what you want to try and find, but there's a break in the midsection on the chest and when they break away in the middle there, um, that's a, a good telltale sign that it's an Elite Series uh, action figure. And some of those go for some significant money. Gives me anxiety, this box. <laughs> Have you done anything with this? I have not touched it. You haven't touched it? No. You just got given it and it's just sitting here. Yeah. Oh, you got some Dragon Ball Z. Bro. I've got to get these off you. <laughs> did you know, did you even know you had these? Yeah. That's so sick. Oh, look at that. Wow. It looks like it's a big box of mainly Dragon Ball Z. Oh, and this is. Barbie stuff. Bad. Barbie goes well. Yeah, it does. I think this is more. More Barbie. I think there was a Barbie. We had a Barbie box here too. That one there. Simpsons. What's that there? Oh, oh some more Simpsons stuff. Yeah. I mean, this is, where was that? Is that a Macca stuff? I don't know. It had to be some kind of Mac or Hunter Jacks. Yeah, one of the promotional it toys. Is, they're all in package. I'll it put is. I'll put that. I think I'll um oh. what's that? Don't even know what that is. Are. Oh, that's Digimon. Are they Digimon? So that's good. Anything Digimon yeah. seems to be really good, eh? I saw that before. Oh, okay. Yeah, that would have had some more tools over there. Alright. <laughs> yeah, these are all Simpsons characters, you said. Yep. I haven't gone through any of them either. This is a mixed random bag. Yeah. They actually go really well. They do. Yeah. Some have the tags on it still. Yeah. That's just a big random assortment. There could be. That's a big. Oh, yeah. That'd, that'd do really well. Series 3. You seem to have a lot of the Series 3. So mm. I don't know much about that in the way of Simpsons action figures. 
Um, we were having a look before and this um, collector set, there was a comp that was selling for, I think it was, because this is series three, we saw a series one, two, and three, and it sold for about 180. Um, you've got it listed for 110. Mm -hmm. it might sell for about 80 odd dollars. Yeah. Uh, could get a bit more. So that was kind of cool. And there's a few others. You said there were two of these? Um, yes, there are. So these Forex hats, they sell for, what is it, 40, 45 bucks? 45 easy. Yeah, 45 easy, and there's two of them in there. Anything corduroy, anything beer related, and look at this. $5, $5 find. So you can find them so cheap. And I got them for two for like eight. Two for eight, yeah. I don't doubt it. You see it all the time. I get them at the flea market for like two bucks. And they also sell super quick too. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Cool, so I think we'll look at those hats as well. Oh, you got some plush. We didn't look at this either. So this is plush, but there's also like, I think there's some hats in here. You got some hats as well there? Yeah. Oh yeah. So we've got those Forex ones that we grabbed before. Yeah. That Mario is pretty sick. It's so sick. Uh, <laughs> Where'd you find him? Opshop. Opshop. Couple of bucks? Yeah, like two bucks. Two bucks, yeah. He's really cool. And what about this? Is this complete? Yeah, fully complete. Fully complete? Yeah. I'm sure there's some good comps on that. Yeah. So much Pokemon in this room. You don't, do you know what these are? Do you know the yeah, value? I, I honestly could not find anything on Can't, them. Yeah, right. It was really hard to find my comps on them or mm. what they were actually were. No comps on them. And you search the art number on the tag? Yeah, it was really hard to read the tag. So this one's the PS2? Yep. That's yeah. yours. Oh, you got the gun. Yeah. Nice. All tested and working. All tested. And you just, you just want it for your own personal. Yeah. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, nice. Ferrari wheel. Oh, you got the GameCube too. GameCube. Money. Oh, yes. This is the money. Oh, wow. Look at that. That is beautiful. No wonder you wouldn't get rid of that. Yeah. That is 100% fair. And then you got a few other bit. You got the expansion pack. Yeah. And you got a bunch of controllers. Yeah, it's everything. Everything. Have you got games? I sold most of the games. Sold most of the games. Yeah. So is that just a nostalgic yeah. sort of a hold for you? Yeah, nostalgic just hold it. Yeah, 100% <laughs> there. You said that there was something special though that you pulled out. Got a cheeky one. You got a cheeky one. Let's have a look at that. Are you selling it or are you not selling it? 50-50. Uh, 50-50. That means Matt's got some work to do on... Oh, look at this. Gold and silver Pokemon boxed. Yeah. And it's got manuals and everything manuals, inside. Manuals, everything. So she's fully complete. Fully complete. She's clean. She's clean. Yeah, she is clean. <laughs> I was just about to say, the box, if you have a look at the condition of this box, it's not bad at all. There's not a lot of creases in it. I think there's a one crease. Yeah, that's the only one. There. Yeah, that's that one. one's got a little crease there. But this one, this silver one, whew, that's that's a rare find for sure. No wonder you don't really want to pass it up, yeah. eh? <laughs> very, very cool. Do you know exactly what they're worth? Um... Between, I think eight? it's like three fifty and two fifty or something. Yeah, around that. Like six hundred. Yeah, six hundred bucks. Oh, this one's closer to three as well. That's gold three. Yeah, I think that's three fifty. Yeah, you get very close to that money. Yeah, I got some other ones. Uh, um, I'll bring it out. Oh, yes, please. Yeah. Oh yeah, we got these. Wow. Oh shit. So that's um, that's just box only. Yeah, I'm pretty sure box and manual. Box and manual. Oh, awesome. So that's come from his collection too. Yeah. You can tell by that sticker. And then you got crystal version too. Absolutely genuine as well. And you got the cartridge, which is an Australian copy too. Yeah, which is the Australian ones are what you want. Yeah, you want the Australians. And that yeah. looks pretty genuine all, as well. All manuals in there. All the manuals. So you got the instructions, the manuals. Yeah, this is just random. Just random. <laughs> wow. But you're holding on to all that. Um, I'm not too. You can you look at that. You can look, that, look at that, definitely. Look at that as well. So you got. What five Pokemon games boxed? Yeah, two with the actual game. Two with the game. Two with the game and three manuals as Thanks. well. What are you holding on to? Oh, uh, the crystal and gold. Crystal and gold. The name of the complete. Oh, silver, silver, silver and gold. You have crystal. Oh, I've got crystal. I'm going to look to take these away. We're going to work on pricing, um, and I'm actually going to try and because these are all um, just manuals and uh, boxes only. But I'm going to try and complete the set here. So I want to try and find two yellow versions to complete that. And then I want to try and find a crystal, and then I want to find a box um, for the red as well, which I think is going to be a cool little video series I'm going to work on throughout the year. What are you thinking? I'm thinking, I don't think I'm going to take anything away today. Yep. Uh, actually, I need 70 listings for Courtney and I to get us through to the Sunday. Yeah. 
So yeah, as long as, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll give you, I've got 180 bucks cash in my wallet. I was going to bank transfer whatever I ended up buying off you, but I've got 180 cash that I can give you. Um, so even if it's some TV show, I don't care what it is. 180 bucks. Honestly, take it. whatever you want. Yeah. Like seriously. As and, long as like we come to agreement on like price yeah. and like, yeah. Yeah. I, I, that's the other thing. I want to, I actually want to have a think about the price. You have to think about the price as well. Okay. Um, just have a, have a think and, and we'll see what we can come to for an agreement on all of this. Yeah. Um, and we'll do it on, on it all. I'll just take it all. Okay. Yeah. Which is pretty crazy. I've never done that before. <laughs> but. I literally, I was like, I was like, that was my hope. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. <laughs> There's some stuff that I'm, I'm not going to be selling. I can tell you right now, like if all that's included. Yeah. All that. Like I won't touch any of that. Yeah. Like I don't do. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I don't, you, you know what I do. I, I don't, I wouldn't do. But your mates might come. Oh, yeah, if they want to. Like I'd literally almost have a garage sale. You could. Yeah. <laughs> that could be a serious. <laughs> that could be its own. Like I'd, I'd run my own garage. Like you've got some, so, some old Sony stuff up there. Yeah. I feel like, yeah, there's some, there's definitely my stuff. That looks cool. Yep. This could be could be a big garage sale day. Yeah. So yeah, man, that's that's the way it's gonna be. Um we're gonna leave it here today. I'll take a couple of items to get us through uh Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I'll give you some cash for that. Yeah, so you've got you've got cash before we go. So you're thinking so Saturday's all good? Yeah, Saturday's fine, man. Yeah. Courtney's probably thinking shit. <laughs> I've got a lot of work to do. You're gonna put it for five days now. Yeah, she should be on five days before she knows it. We've just gotta sell this stuff so I can pay her. So I'm going to take these two now. Courtney and I are going to work on it this weekend, and then on Saturday, we're going to we're going to have a price negotiated, and I'm going to take the rest of it. Epic, Aiden, my man. Get it going. That was epic, bro. So good. We'll speak soon. I'll give you a call at six o'clock, and we'll try and work out how much we pay for all of this. Let's do it. Good man, Terry. Man, so this one really had me for the last uh, few hours, that's for sure. I drove home, had a bit of a think about it. I'm still thinking about it now. I just thought I'd turn the camera on and give you guys an update on, I guess, where I was at on all of this. Um, I've never had uh, an, an opportunity to buy this much stock before. Um, all really good items, as you can see there. There was there was boxes upon boxes of just high valued items. So I just felt like I just felt like leaving was probably best because I could ultimately then just have a bit of a think about it. And I do think I should go ahead with the full bulk purchase. I do want to offer him a price. I'd love to see where he kind of starts the negotiation at. The biggest limitation for me is going to be obviously where I house it. There's there's a lot of stock there and I'm, I'm just in a, a townhouse. So I don't have a lot of space. So I'm thinking about taking the issue of having all of the stock myself rather than Aiden having the issue of having it. If he's just going to take it to an op shop, you know, I could, I could hold on to it here in some capacity for a short term period and on sell it to other resellers that I know in the community. You guys, I can make a video series and if any of you guys want it, I know that I've got an audience out there that would wanna have it. So I feel like just, I've got a few different avenues to get rid of the stuff quick and that's why I wanna go ahead and do what I've never done before in two and a half years and pretty much buy somebody's entire eBay store. So let's get Aiden on the phone and try and work out a deal. I was I was curious to get your thoughts um, on a price point. Did you did you have a number in mind that you were hoping to get for it all? Yeah, I had a I had a good thing about it like you told me to and just re went through everything and yeah, I just I think I, I think a good uh, price would be something something around like the four thousand dollar mark. Four grand? Yeah, yeah, four grand. Okay. Um, the best or the number I guess that I had in my head was about two and a half grand. Okay. Um, so it's, that's, yeah, it's probably where I'm at. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think I think I can go down to three and a half. I think three and a half. I think when you just look at everything, the the bulk value of everything, there's there's plenty of like definitely plenty of like content, cash, everything there. So you've I got think three and a half would be. You, you've got bangers. There's no doubt about it. I know it's yeah. I know it's a really good collection. Could I, could I bring you down to three grand? Three grand cash tomorrow? Yep, if you could drop it off tomorrow. Yep, done. You got a deal. Done? Done. You got a deal. My man, I do appreciate that. I appreciate okay. that. That's epic. I'm now stressed. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll aim for tomorrow and you can, uh, yeah, drop it all off and we'll we'll try and sell it. Do it with you, mate. You have a good one. See good man. Bye. Appreciate it, bud. See you later. Yeah. Yeah. Boy, three grand. That is, that is scary. That's scary, but... I think pretty exciting. Um, 
So yeah, tomorrow, tomorrow it's going to be here. And I am so nervous about this purchase, but I'm also, like I said, really excited because there are some absolutely crazy items in there that are going, going to go on to sell well. And I know that I can make a bunch of videos out of it as well, which is another very important aspect for me is to have content to be able to make. And there is just so much stuff that I have not gone through in this video today that I'll be going through here back at home once it arrives tomorrow. So no better time to subscribe to the channel. Hit that button right now. Um, it'd be cool to have you a part of the journey. And I'm going to be trying to sell off all of this stuff as quickly as possible as well. So if you see anything that you want uh, or you know anyone that might want it, flick this video on and show them because it'll be here tomorrow and there'll be a video out early next week. Um, so yeah, subscribe to the channel and uh, yeah, I cannot wait for tomorrow, guys. We'll see you soon.